Are you looking to amplify your After Effects game? Well, here are 10 motion graphics that will make you a rock star. Hey, what's going on, internet? Josh Noel, Sunduck Film. Please be sure to drop a like on this video as it helps us out tremendously, and let's get right into the video. For our first graphic, I'm gonna show you how to create these really cool distorted lines. All you need to do is grab the pen tool here at the top, make sure you click on where stroke, set solid color, and then go to fill, make sure that's turned off. You can use a stroke with about five. And then all we do is click a point, hold down shift on keyboard and draw out a straight line like this. So from here, we'll go to effect, distort, and we'll grab wave warp. And that's literally all you have to do. You have this animated line. You can adjust the wave speed by increasing the number to say two. And then we come here to the wave type and change this to a number of different options. And you're gonna get a completely different look of your line. So feel free to experiment with the options. And also feel free to duplicate your shape and move it around your composition and create really cool patterns just with this one wave warp line effect. The next graphic I want to create are these line arrays, which are really cool to use for like these quick explosions. So as before, we'll grab the pen tool. This time, make sure you turn on title action saves. And then we can like zoom in here and we can add a point directly in the center of our composition, hold down shift and draw out a straight line like this. Then open your shape layer, go to add and add a repeater. Open that repeater up, go to transform repeater one, set the X position to zero, and then increase the rotation. And then we come here to copies, increase this number up by a lot until we kind of fill out the circle. And then we come here to the Y value for the anchor point and we just increase this. And this will create that gap there in the center. And then all we need to do is go to add and add a trim paths. And we'll open this up. We'll add a keyframe for end, move that keyframe forward in time and then set the end to 0%. And then we can move forward, add a keyframe for start, move forward again, and set the start to 100%. Feel free to make the keyframes easy ease by hitting F9 on your keyboard, and we'll have something like this. And with a lot of our techniques in this video, feel free to duplicate the graphic and move it around your composition so you have a unique comp. All right, next up is creating these half circles, or I guess they can also be called semicircles. Very easy to do this. So this time around, we'll come here, grab the ellipse tool, and we can draw out a perfect circle by holding shift on keyboard. Feel free to increase the stroke width. And now that we have our circle, control double click the pan behind tool. This will center the anchor point, which is very important. Then go to add and add trim paths. Open the trim paths and set the end to 50%. And now we have a half circle. Then we get R on our keyboard for rotation, all click the stopwatch and type in wiggle, open parenthesis, one comma 50, close parenthesis, something like this. And now we have this rotating circle. And feel free to adjust the stroke size when duplicating the semicircles. So our fourth graphic is about creating a multi-line graphic. All we need to do is grab the pen tool and draw out a straight line. Then we open this up, we go to add, we add a repeater and we open this up, go to the transform repeater one, set the X position to zero, and then increase the Y value. And this will create some lines on top of our previous line. We can then increase the copies. Down here, you'll see end opacity. We can set this down to 0%, so this will fade uh, the back lines. And then to animate this, we'll do what we did previously, go to effect, distort, and grab uh, wave warp. And when you add a graphic like this with other graphics, it just adds like a nice touch of design to your project. Another graphic that we can use to add a nice touch of detail to our motion graphics is adding a grid, which is pretty easy to do. However, to make it look good, there's a few things we need to keep in mind. So we'll come here to layer, new, solid, and we'll make sure the width and height are 1000 by 1000. It needs to be a perfect number like that in a square format. Click OK, go to effect, generate, and grab grid. Okay. So if you follow this correctly, we can come here to width and height sliders and we can set this to say 50 by 50. We'll be able to increase the number of squares, if you will, and still have this outline around our solid, which is very important for this to look good. Okay, so that's essentially it. Then all we need to do is just feel free to scale it down and move it around your comp. And just by having the grid up there for a few frames, we have another nice touch to our project. Before we move further into this video, I want to give a huge shout out to our Motion Graphics Professionals Pack, which has 1400 templates right here for After Effects. For example, you can preview templates like we're creating in this video and apply it to your composition with one click of a button. And within a few seconds, you can add some nice accent graphics to your project. Also in this pack is a handful of titles which you can easily apply to your project. You can then double click on the composition and change the titles to fit your project needs. And then with the control layer, you can adjust the colors of everything inside the template fairly quick. You can also choose from effects like glitches and particle effects uh, to really cool transitions. And you can also choose from over 600 promo graphics. So if you're interested in having an extension panel with over 1400 templates, be sure to check our links in the description below. You can also download our free 100 template pack here for After Effects and Premiere Pro. So this is a very simple graphic, but you don't just have to use circles like I am. It looks great with a number of different objects. So as before, we can grab the ellipse tool and I'll just draw out a circle like this, hold down shift, 
and then we'll come here to add, just add a repeater, and we'll open this up, go to transform, and just crunch in that exposition by a little bit, and then increase the number of copies. Okay, so then what we can do is uh, add a keyframe for start opacity, move forward in time, and set the start opacity to 0%. So this will kind of just like fade on, but I want to keep this looping. So we'll alt click the stopwatch and we'll type in loop out with a capital O open parenthesis, quotations, ping pong, quotations, close parenthesis. So make sure your expression looks just like mine. <clears throat> and now we'll have this blinking graphic in here and you know, that looks pretty cool. So this is everything combined together as we've created many duplicates for everything. So this next graphic, you can't really go wrong with it because it just looks aesthetically pleasing pretty much everything that you put it on. So we'll grab the text tool and all we're gonna do is type a plus symbol. That's literally it. And then duplicating this is a must. So make sure you drag that out point in and then you just come here, you duplicate it, go to edit, duplicate. And as you duplicate the graphic, just make sure you move it randomly around your composition. So create about 15 to 20 layers of that plus graphic and you can fill up your composition and add some nice detail to your project. All right, so this next one is all about adding a pop of color uh, to your project. So right now we have like all these white graphics, but by adding a nice pop of color, it's gonna make a massive difference in our project. So I'll come here, grab the ellipse tool and we'll draw out a perfect circle. We'll come here to the fill and we'll set this to a linear gradient. Click OK. We'll then open the ellipse tool, go to the gradient fill and click on edit gradient. And feel free to select any two colors that you want. I'm gonna do like an orange for the first color, select the second color stop, and I'll do like a magenta. Control double click the pan behind tool so the anchor point is centered. And then you can hit PR keyboard for position. You can do a alt click stopwatch and do like a wiggle, open parenthesis, you know, one comma 50, and this will wiggle it around. And then you can also hit shift R to bring up the rotation, alt click stopwatch for rotation, and we do like a time asterisk. 40. So now we have this nice graphic in here and moving on to our next technique, which is simply about creating a line that we can attach to it. So for example, with the pen tool, I'll make sure that stroke is turned on, the fill is turned off, and I'll just draw out this straight line right here. And I'm just going to parent this to our circle layer. So now we have this line that's attached to our pop of color shape, and that looks really awesome. All right, this last graphic I want to create is this opening transition for our scene. So there's a number of different things that we can do to create a nice opening transition, but this is one way to do it. So I'm gonna grab everything, go to layer, uh, pre-compose, we'll call it all. And you don't have to do the exact shape that I'm using, but I am gonna grab the ellipse tool. And I'm going to make sure it's set the fill and the stroke is turned off. And right from the center of our comp, I'm gonna go ahead and just create this perfect circle to fill out the entire composition, just like this, okay. Then I'll hit S for my keyboard for scale. We'll add a keyframe, move that keyframe forward in time to maybe a half second, and then set the scale to 0%, go to that last keyframe, make it an easy, easy keyframe by hitting F9, go to the graph editor, and right here at the bottom, I'll pull this handle all the way in, and then I'll come here to the track mat, so toggle switch the modes, and set the track mat for our, our all composition to that shape layer. And now with all of our graphics put together, you can really create some unique scenes uh, just by using any of these techniques here in this video. If you're new here at Slimduck Film, please be sure to hit that subscribe button as we post multiple videos every single week and always be creating.